Hi, in this tutorial we will learn how to update real-time data from our Android application. In Firebase Database Helper class, let's create the methods for updating and deleting data. Create public void method, let's call it update book. Create three parameters, the key of the book node, the book object, and an instance of the data status interface. Let's update the books node for the child with this key called set a value, give it the new book object. To determine if this operation completed successfully, add on success listener. On success, call data is updated from the interface data status. That's it for the update method. Now let's create delete method. Create public void method. Let's call it delete book. Create two parameters, the key of the book node and an instance of the data status interface. To delete data from the books node, specify the child and call set value. This time pass null value. Notice here, if the node does not have a value or null value, then it will be deleted automatically. Add on success listener. On success, call data is deleted from the interface data status. Now let's create the activity that will handle these two methods. Create new activity an empty activity. Let's call it book details activity. Click finish. Its layout file is similar to new book layout with a few changes. Switch to text mode. Select all and copy it. Go to book details layout. Change the mode to text, delete everything, and paste the code here. Change Add button to Update button. Make space for Delete button. Back to book details activity, define the view objects, initialize them after inflating the layout. This activity is started once you click on any item from the recycler view. So we need to add on click listener on each item. Open recycler view config. Once the book item view is instantiated, that's mean the constructor is being called. And here on item view object set on click listener. On click 
create an intent object, give it the context, and the activity we want to start is book details activity dot class. Along with the intent object, pass the books data. From the context, call start activity. Give it the intent object. That's it. Back to book details activity. Define the data we will receive from the intent object. Get the data from the intent object. Let's create a method to help us for setting selected value in spinner object. This method will return the index of the item. Let's call it get index spinner item. Create two parameters, the spinner object and the item's name. Create an integer variable, call it index and set it to zero. Create for loop to loop through spinner items. If the spinner's item at this position is equal to this string, then index is equal to this position. Stop the loop and return the index. Now to set the selected item in spinner object, call set selection with the help of get index spinner item give it the spinner object and the category name. Set on click listener on update button. On click instantiate book object and populate its content from the view objects. instantiate Firebase database helper and call update book. Give it the key of the book to update and the new book object. Instantiate the interface data status. On data is updated, display toss message to let the user know that this record has been updated successfully. In the same way, set on a click listener on delete button. Instantiate Firebase database helper and call delete book. Pass it the key of the book to delete. Instantiate the interface data status. On data is deleted, display toss message to confirm that. Then finish this activity and stop executing anything else. Set on click listener on back button. On click, finish this activity and stop executing anything else. That's it. Run the application. Click on any item. Oh, I forgot to center delete button. Let's fix that.
much better. And I think I forgot to set the values for the view objects. Let's fix it. Good. Let's try to update the author. Click update. The author has been updated successfully. Now let's try to delete this record. Book record has been deleted successfully. In the next tutorial, we will learn how to make the insert, update, and delete operations allowed just for the authenticated users by creating login, register, and logout functionalities. That's all for this tutorial. I hope it was easy to follow and helpful. Thanks for watching.